Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. The inspiration for today's projects comes from the beauty of springtime, both daylight and nightlight. And you'll see in these projects, they're easy and fun to do and the results are so charming. Here's the full moon rising last night. The first project we're going to make uses two Dollar Tree bamboo cutting boards for a dollar and a quarter a piece. My name is Lisa, and if you're new, a special welcome. I would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel. It's fun, free, and festive. I post new videos once or twice a week. So now we'll dive in and start our first project. In addition to the two bamboo cutting boards from Dollar Tree, you'll want some pretty chalk paint. I use this Americana decor in lace. You'll want to use a sponge brush to apply several coats to the surface of the bamboo cutting boards. One of the cutting boards will be the top surface of the riser. So for that, you'll want to apply several coats to give it a nice, even finish. In between each coat of paint, I use my heat gun to dry it thoroughly before applying the next one. The second cutting board will be less visible, so I just applied one thin coat of paint. As you paint the boards, do be sure to get around the edges because those will also be visible. Now you notice on this second board, I just gave it a light coating of paint because it won't be visible. What you wanna do after it dries is to outline with wooden beads. I happen to have the pink and red ones from a Valentine garland I had bought at Dollar Tree. So I alternated those colors with the natural unfinished wooden bead as well. After gluing them all the way around the perimeter of the rectangle, I then used my hot glue to run a line of hot glue on the interior of those beads. I emphasize the interior because I didn't want the glue to ooze out and be visible when I sandwiched them in between the boards. As you can see, sandwiched in between, that row of beads makes a very pretty accent. And now I'm just touching up the paint using that sponge brush and that lace chalky paint uh, just to clean up any little marks and to get around the edges there so it all has a nice, even, consistent finish. After it's thoroughly dry, the fun part is decorating the top. I happened to receive a catalog in the mail just when I was working on this project yesterday. So I looked at it and the cover was just so charming with the afternoon tea party in the springtime weather that I decided that would make a really pretty top. Now, I had thought about using one of the IOD transfers, and that would have been very beautiful too with the apple blossoms. But this looked so charming to me, I couldn't resist. Because it was the cover of the catalog, it had a nice weight to it. I traced around the top of the cutting board just to get my outline, and then I cut it out and used Mod Podge as the adhesive. I used one of the small bottles of Mod Podge available at Dollar Tree, and I used a sponge brush also from Dollar Tree to apply a thin, even coat to the back of the picture. Then I just turned it over and laid it down, centering the design nicely. This was completely unplanned, but turned out to be one of the most charming DIYs uh, that I've done. I just love the whole color combination, the vibrancy of it, and the charm. And it tied in so nicely with those pink, red, and natural colored beads. To finish off the top surface, I'm using DIY's Big Top After Show. Uh, it's a finish and varnish. I applied two coats drying in between, and it does give it a nice, slightly glossy finished effect. You can also use Mod Podge in the Mod Podge glossy finish or even the regular Mod Podge, but you do want to seal it off. You can see just that very pretty uh, gloss finish it does 
provide. Here you can see I'm just using the heat gun to give it a nice drying. I also added some large red half wooden beads to serve as the little feet underneath just to elevate it slightly. This is so pretty, so easy, so inexpensive to make. And just think of the possibilities. Once you buy the two cutting boards, you can choose your paint color, your bead color, and any lovely decoration to embellish the top. Who knows, you may even receive a lovely catalog in the mail. I want to share just one other thought. Seeing those crowns on those two ladies' heads made me think of a beautiful saying, whenever the world starts getting you down, remember whose child you are and adjust your crown. Now we'll move on to our next project. For this, you just need one of the Dollar Tree cylindrical vases for $1.25, as well as some rub-on transfers. I'm using an alcohol wipe just to wipe down the exterior of the glass. It's always a good idea to just wipe down the surface of any um, glass or plastic that you want to decorate. I'm using one of these sheets of the IOD transfers. I mentioned in my last video, I have really um, gotten to like these. They are so vibrant, so easy to use. So I did purchase some of the ones um, that have the floral designs. And here you can see, I'm just laying out this pretty pink rose against that glass. Then I'm just going to use the tool uh, that they provide to just rub that transfer onto the glass. Now I know Dollar Tree also sells rub-on transfers. I've also used these cylindrical vases um, with Mod Podge decoupage techniques to decorate them. Honestly, I think there are endless ways that you can decorate these vases. They are one of my favorite items that Dollar Tree sells because of their versatility. In this case, I'm going to use it as a candle holder, um, but because it's glass, you could also use it to hold fresh flowers or faux flowers. Here you can see I'm just finishing rubbing off this second uh, spray of pretty flowers and then I'm just going to remove that plastic overlay and you see it reveals an almost painted design against that glass. I plan to add just one more burst of flowers, the little forget-me-nots, uh, to fill in that one empty space. You can see here I also uh, included the rub-on of the forget-me-not words, and um, I think that just adds to the charm. As a final detail on the vase, I had this pretty ribbon that I bought at Michael's on a clearance. So I'm just running a little uh, border of this pretty little gingham green and white ribbon along the base. I just used a drop of hot glue uh, randomly applied along that edge to adhere it. Hot glue is great, but I do find that less is usually the better option. It can get messy looking. Here I'm using one of the Dollar Tree candlesticks to elevate the vase. They're only $1.25 a piece, and they come in different shapes now and sizes and even colors. I'm decorating this one using some of the same green and white ribbon to uh, complement the vase. Just tying a simple bow will make it coordinate nicely with the vase that we're going to hot glue onto the candlestick. As you can see, I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue to the rim of the top of that candlestick, and then I'll just overturn the vase so that I can center it nicely along the bottom. And there it is, another easy project complete. This can be used, as I mentioned, for fresh flowers, faux flowers, or in this case, I decided to uh, use it to hold one of the battery powered candles and it gives it a beautiful glow in the evening. 
Our next project just uses one of the Dollar Tree silver trays that I spray painted using the Krylon metallic gold. I'm using once again one of the beautiful IOD transfers to decorate the surface and I chose a pattern that not only would fit nicely uh, with as well a poetic verse but also highlighted those gold accents. So I'm going to just simply cut this off using the grid lines as a guide, and then we'll use the scraper tool to um, release the transfer, and you'll have a beautiful little dresser tray that can be used in a variety of ways. Here you can see I'm just positioning the uh, transfer over the surface of the tray. Again, you could decorate these trays in so many different ways using decoupage techniques or some of the rub-on transfers that Dollar Tree sells. I have gotten um, very fond of these IOD transfers, so I'm just showing you some fun ways that they can be used. So now that it's in position, I'm just pressing it down with my fingers. Those grid lines do help to center it nicely. Then I'm just using the scraper tool to uh, release that transfer. The clear plastic overlay helps you to see that the transfer has been successfully released. And if you notice a little spot that hasn't, just go over it again with the scraper tool while it's still in position. Then when it's fully released, you can just lift off that plastic overlay to reveal a beautifully uh, designed surface. This is another easy, inexpensive DIY that would make a beautiful accent in your home or a lovely gift for someone. Painting and decorating these Dollar Tree trays would be another way that a child could make a fun gift for a loved one for Mother's Day. In a recent video, I showed you how you can decorate a Dollar Tree mirror using a handmade bunny that I fashioned out of aluminum foil and air dry clay. And I haven't forgotten my promise to demonstrate that technique to you. I'm going to film that segment this afternoon and I will include it on my video later this week. In the meantime, I would love for you to comment below and let me know what you enjoyed about the video and what you'd like to see in the future. Take care and God bless.